everybody, I'm Amy from Buddy Fit by Amy, and this is your Pilates Pyramid Workout. This is day 16 of your Body Fit Strong Challenge. In this workout, we are going to work our entire body using Pilates inspired moves for strength and mobility. But instead of our traditional Pilates flow, we are going to do it in an interval pyramid format. So going up the pyramid in time, coming down the pyramid in time, and alternating between two Pilates moves in each circuit. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna feel it. I know we're gonna have a great time. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start just moving. You can march. We'll get some rolls through the shoulders, to the back, and then to the front. We're gonna get a quick warm up just to get the blood flowing, muscles warm. As always, you can get more of a warm up or cool down on your own, and you can check out my new extended warm up or extended cool down videos. Big reach out to the side and just shift our weight side to side into that lateral lunge. So this is a no equipment Pilates workout, but if you have a set of light dumbbells, ones, twos, or three pounds, you can add it, especially to this first circuit. Our first pyramid circuit is going to be standing, some standing Pilates, and then everything else will be down on the mat. Let's just do some little taps, reach. So light dumbbells are okay, optional, not required, but you can use them if you got them knees in so pyramid format we're going up the pyramid and then back down so we will only have two moves in each pyramid that we just alternate between but we will add on as we go so we're starting at 15 seconds then 30 seconds then 45 and then we go back down the pyramid 45 30 15 as we go up we will Add a little bit onto those moves so you can always stick to the base level move. As always, I want you to be where you are today and work to your level. Let's just do a little standing cat to cow. Do what is best for you. So I think if you're not a fan of the Pilates flow, you might like this even better because we only have two moves. That's all you have to remember. So go ahead and just tap and reach across. I want you to watch me as I talk you through your very first circuit. You can just keep moving, reaching over side to side. Watch me here with or without your weights. Our two moves, our base move is just your standard plie and then your alternating curtsy. So side to side on that curtsy, a little weight shift, you can keep it small. As we go on, we're gonna add a little bit of arms to the plie and a little bit of arms to the curtsy, pushing back into a kickback. No weights, I just want you to be nice and strong with those arms. If you have the weights, we'll keep them here and then we'll work our way back down, right? So core is engaged the entire time. Grab the weights if you wanna use them. Otherwise, we will stay right where we are. We're gonna, throughout this entire workout, workout think about zipping up in the core, lifting in that pelvic floor. Nice, good posture. Starting with just that quick 15 seconds, here we go. So drop it down, squeeze it up. First pyramid, starting with 15 seconds, it's gonna go fast. I want you to focus on that form. Squeeze up through the inner thighs, pelvic floor, glutes. Last one, and relax, shake that out. Good work. Now we take it down to that little curtsy, side to side, you get low if you can. Stay a little higher if you need to. Zip up in that core. Here we go, 30 seconds this time. Cross behind, tap through. Cross behind, drop that back knee. Yes, there we go. So if you need to, you can just tap and here. Tap, keep the weight in the front. If you're able, get low. Here to here. Up to you, 10 seconds to go. And I'm not sure I said it, but each round, we have a 15 second rest in between. Last one, and relax. So now we're back to that plie. Let's see if we can get the heart pumping a little. We're just gonna do a curl out and a curl in. Curl, core is engaged. Curl and core sound the same, right? So zip it up here, and here we go. 45 seconds, plie, plie. So take it out. 
take it in. If you're not using weights, totally fine. I just want you to really strong. You're rotating through the back and through the arms, right? As we continue to lift in the center. Yes, breathe. Standing Pilates in round one, everything else on the mat, right? 10 seconds to go. Can you get a little lower? Try it. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, 15 seconds to breathe. Now as we cross over, elbows are up. We're gonna push back in a kickback. And then here, keep that back tight the entire time. If you don't have weights, just push back with those strong arms. 45 seconds, here we go. Curtsy and push. Curtsy and push. Looks like this. Push up. Push up. We got 45 seconds. Again, if you need to reduce your range of motion on that curtsy, totally fine. Just get low if you can. And again, push those hands towards the back and towards the ceiling, right? Core stays engaged. We got 15 seconds, right? Heart rate is up. Hopefully, I know mine is. Feeling our legs, our arms, and our cores. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Now we are going back down that pyramid. Whew, feeling that. So we got 30 seconds of that plie. If you want to add the curl, if you want to take it back to basics with the plie, that works too. 30 seconds. I'm going to take my hands a little differently with the weights, but you can keep it whatever feels good for you. Making sure you're still getting low. Yes. Breathe. 15 seconds to go. And this move is done for the day. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. All right, we only have 15 seconds. Here's what we're gonna add just to mix it up. We're gonna get 15 seconds all on the right. 15 seconds all on the left, just to add a little burn right at the end. Here we go. So push and push. Low in the curtsy, up with the tries. Breathe. Yes. Traditional pyramid, we would only do one set of 15. Switch it other side, here we go. Take it down and up. Water is coming right after this, and then we're going down to the mat, right? Core's engaged, low to high. Three, two, one. Relax, good. Set those weights down to the side gently. Grab a quick sip of water, tap it out. If you wanna keep moving, I want you to stay here just with a little open and tap. Watch me, you got a minute to breathe or to keep it moving. I'll show you down on the mat. Okay, so we are down on the mat. Watch me first. Our very first move is gonna be a little side to side. So from the knees, we're gonna do a little reach. Extend the leg out if you can, and then back to center. Extend the leg out back to center. We're only gonna stay that for the 15 second interval. So if that doesn't feel good for you with the legs, you can just alternate between the two. Then when we get to our longer intervals, we're gonna split our time, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and 15, 15, right? So then we're alternating that with a bridge. So you can grab those dumbbells if you want. We'll start regular, and then at the top, we'll add some out and in for inner outer thighs and then we'll go back and forth. So go ahead and join me down on the mat, starting on your knees. So core engage, just side to side, with or without the leg. You got 15 seconds. Think of this first one as a little stretch with a little abs. Here we go. Reach and back. So you're using your core to bring you back to center. And again, if it feels too weird to get the leg out, just do the upper body, feel those obliques, right? Side to side, relax. Roll down onto your back, onto your sides. We're gonna grab those weights, 
We're gonna do a bridge for 30 seconds, just regular, bring those heels in close, core zipped up, here we go. Up and down, you got 30. So things I want you to think about are keeping everything pulled in with the core. We're going up, we're going down, breathe, and really squeezing at the top through the glutes, through the hamstrings, right? We're here to here, up and down, yes, squeeze, three, two, one. Get a little stretch if you need to. So now we're at the top of the pyramid, roll to the side. We're gonna get one side, 20 seconds, and then we'll switch to that other side. So zip it up here, take it out, here we go. So down and reach. Again, what I want you to think about is that your obliques are what's lifting. Everything's pulling in. You can do that stretch if you want, or you can just keep those arms out. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Swing those legs around. Other side, here we go. Take it down and up. Yes, reach through the sides. Love this move because it's a great way to safely get those obliques and side planks maybe are a little tougher. Last one. And relax. Take it back down on your sides, on your back. This time we're gonna take our knees out and in with that bridge. You got 45 seconds. Lift, take it out, squeeze it in, drop it down. Here we go, core engaged, glutes, hamstrings, now we're adding inner and outer. So really push against the resistance, whether you have those weights or you can even add a little push in with your hands, which will activate a little arms, right? Push, push, and down, up, squeeze. Glutes and hamstrings, let's get it all in inner outers, don't forget about that core, pulling everything in. You've got 10 seconds. Up, out, in, and down. And relax, Woo! get a little stretch. All right, we are back to our side raise. 15 seconds each way, so zip it up here. Ha -ha. Up on the knees, here. We go, drop it down, down and up. And breathe, yes. Core, really think through here. Get the stretch out of it as well. Last one, swing it. Other side, here we go, down, breathe. Reach and up. So what we're building in here is also that stretch through your side and stretch through inner thigh. Last one. And relax. Woo! Last 15. Down here on our backs. Lift. Here we go. Bridge. Up. Out. In. And down. Up. Out. In. And down. Yes. Breathe. One more. And relax. Good. So that circuit is over, but stay here. I want you to just do a little stretch and stretch. This is your modification. Whoo, shaky, right? Or if you can, we're gonna get a bonus 30 of scissors. Join me here. Pull it in. If this is not right for you, again, keep your upper body down and just get a little stretch here or here. But if you can, let's get the core out of it and get that stretch, flex your feet. Yes, breathe, everything is pulled in. And breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, yes, good. All right, you got a minute to breathe if you want to. You can get a little cardio mobility hip stretch, but I want you to watch me. You're here to here. If you need to keep that knee down, keep the knee down as well. If you can keep it up, 
keep it up. But watch me for your next two moves. We are going to stay on our hands and knees. We're taking it to a bird dog. So this will be your basic. And then we're gonna add on little lift. Add on little lift and then we'll add on little twist. If the lift or the twist is not right for you, be where you are today, just keep the bird dog. And then we're gonna take it to our swimming. So we're here, up and up. I'm gonna give you an option if the swimming isn't right for you, we're gonna add coming up to a plank for that. All right, so all facing down, go ahead and bring it here. 15 seconds, bird dog, here we go. Flex and breathe, reach. So in this bird dog, to really feel your core, bring those hips forward just a bit. You're gonna feel the difference. We're still getting glutes and hamstrings. Relax it back, right? All right, guys, if you can't do the swimming, I want you just to come here, squeeze up through here, down and squeeze. You're gonna keep that the whole time. That's your modification. Otherwise, join me here, swimming 30 seconds. So I want you to think of it as strengthening through your back, through your glutes, through your hamstrings, but also getting that flexibility in that stretch, right? We're all pretty tight through that lower back. So the more, slow it down if you need to. Don't feel like you have to get super high off the ground, but keep it here. Four, three, two, relax. Stretch it back, right? Whew. All right, 45 seconds, guys, of the bird dog. You can keep it just the bird dog or lift up twist, twist in between, all right? Or just do the lift, whatever is good for you. Three, two, one, 45 seconds. Reach and reach, lift and twist. Reach and reach. You can go slower than me or faster, but good form. Reach and reach, lift, twist and twist reach and reach twist and twist keep it going 15 reach reach yes last one good and relax all right 45 seconds of that swimming again if you just want to get like a uh, kneeling extension through the glutes, through the back, take it here. Otherwise, take it all the way down with me. Watch me here swimming for four. Pop up to here for four. Join me swimming for four. Pop up on those elbows. Four. And take it up. So as you're coming up, you're lifting, 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 lifting. Bring your elbows here, use the upper body, but more than that, lift in the center with your core. So think about a string on your belly button, lifting you up, right? Up and up, there we go. Whoa, right. Last one all the way through. And up, relax. Whew. Back to 30 seconds. We got our bird dog. We got our twist and our twist. You can do it. Whew. Zip it up. Bring it forward. 30. Reach and reach. Lift, twist and twist. Reach and reach. Twist and twist. Twist and twist. Good. Five seconds. Can you get one more? Huh. And relax. Yes. All right, swimming, pop it up to that plank. Last 15, we may even go longer, just for funsies. Here's your modification. Take it here to here with your back and your glutes. Ready, here we go. Four, three, two, pop it up, hold, drop it down, pop it up, yes, 
Let's get one more. I know we're over time, but you can do it. Yes. And relax, stretch it back. Whoo, breathe. Nice work, team. All right, little stretch here. Yes. All right, so getting mobility before we move to that next round. Watch me, little stretch and reach. And reach. If you're moving here to here, you're gonna get that core. So do what is best for you. If you wanna lean back a little with it, reach up. Reach up. Watch me. It's our last round. We're gonna take it here. All right, so single leg stretch. Modification, you're just gonna literally get the stretch. In and out, in and out. But if you can, we're here. We're lifting, we're getting the core. Don't do the core if it's not appropriate for you. Get the stretch. Otherwise, we're gonna take it to the single. We're gonna take it to the crisscross, right? That's where we're building to. Then we're going on our side plank. We're gonna get each side, guys, so 15, 15. Side plank with a clamshell. So we're gonna lift, lift here and here, all right? So then we'll switch it other side. So first time we do it, we'll go 15 and 15. 45, we'll split up our 20s and then that last round will go 15 and 15. All right, grab a quick sip of water. Go ahead and bring it down. Again, guys, I want you to just do the stretch if you need to modify. Here we go. If you can, lift and lift. Good Pilates form. Everything pulled in. Little stretch, but also getting the core working. Yes, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it over to your side. All right, so we're gonna zip it up. We got 15 seconds on this side, 15 seconds on the other. Ready, three, two, one. Up and up. So you can separate them out just like that, or if you can make it more fluid, you can go up and down, up and down, right? Three, two, one, swing those legs around, take it to that other side, here we go. Up, up, and down, up, or fluid all the way through, and down, lift the hip, and lift the knee. Three, two, one, relax. All right guys, now we're at our 45, you either gotta keep that stretch, or bring it up, crisscross. Here we go. Elbow to knee. So I don't want you to think, I still want you to think about getting your shoulders off the ground, but if it's good for you, I want you to rotate. Again, if you need to just get the stretch, that works too. But if you can, keep it going. Breathe. Yes. Keep it up. You got this. If you need a little breather in between, drop it down, get that stretch, come back with good form. You know, I always will tell you, I'd rather you have good form than rush through to stay with me all the way through a set. Take a break, readjust, catch your breath. Three, two, one, relax. All right, 20 seconds each side. We're gonna lift and lift, zip it up here. Again, you can do it one and then the other, or make it fluid all the way up. Here we go, 20. Up, up. Really try to get that knee open. We're all pretty tight through here. Right? Yes. And up. Breathe. One more. Swing those legs around to that other side, bring it here, here we go. Up, or separate it out, up and up, down and down. Of course, you can use this hand too if you need to, or keep it up, whatever works. We're getting all through the core, we're getting hips. Breathe, three, two, one, relax, yes. All right, guys, going back down. This time, instead of that single, let's make it a double leg stretch. Watch me, here to here. Join me for 30. 
and reach. Or again, you're just doing your stretch if you need to, but you can make those arms a little bigger. Here, reach around. Double leg stretch. Extend out if you can and think arm and shoulder mobility as well as the core, right? We're not just getting the core working. We're really working on mobility as well. Last one. And relax. All right, guys, let's get 15, 15 one more time with our side planks. We are almost done with this pyramid. Ready? Here we go. 15. Up and out. Up and out. Yes. Breathe. Yes. Good. Let's go two more. This is making an even eight. Other side. I love when we can combine our lower body and our core together with these Pilates moves. Here we go. Up and down. 20 seconds or eight reps. Here we go. Take it up. Two more. Last one. And relax. Yes. Good. Stretch it out right here. How about one last bonus move just to really get it all in? All right, guys, watch me here on your knees. We're gonna get that stretch and we're gonna get that work in our core, in our hips. So modification, I want you to step back, turn it in, get a little stretch, bring it back and switch. So you take your time, whatever you need to do. Basically, we're going from knees to pyramid or to pigeon, not pyramid, we're in a pyramid workout. Otherwise, guys, I wanna go here, stretch, Bring it up and down. Stretch, bring it up and down. It does not have to look perfect. We want the stretch, we want the core, we want that knee driving across so we get the obliques. Are you with me? Let's finish it out strong. Zip up in that core. Three, two, one. Here we go. So take it across, little stretch, press it up, switch. Take it across, little stretch, up. Modification here, little stretch here, take it back. If that feels like too much, you can just go child's pose to here. Child's pose to here, right? Let's keep it easy here. Up, across, stretch, breathe, down, good. One more, here we go. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> yes, last one. And relax, yes. Stretch it back right where you are. Child's pose, take those knees out and sit low. Whoo, breathe. <sighs> Let's get into that pigeon pose and hold it for longer than two seconds, right? So you can start here. Turn it in. If that doesn't feel good for you, stay seated, cross it over here or sit on the edge of a chair, whatever works for you. And breathe. You know, bring that foot up a little, right? Uh, <sighs> Thank you for showing up and moving with me. Let me know if you liked this in the comments again. I love a good Pilates flow or bar or yoga where we just keep it moving the whole time. But I know sometimes that can get confusing. If you're on the mat, you can't see me. I know sometimes it can move too quickly if you're newer to Pilates or, you know, even if you've been doing it for a while, anytime you encounter a new move, this happens to me all the time. It's different for your brain as well as your body. So of course, it's gonna take a second for you to figure it out. So something like a pyramid format or who knows, maybe we'll do a Pilates Tabata, something like that, where you have a little more time in between to get set up and get your brain ready. Could be a good option for us. Take those fingertips back. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Subscribe to my channel, Just click that little bell. That way you won't miss a thing. You'll know when I have new workouts coming out 
or live workouts or new challenges. Speaking of challenges, click the link in the description below. Find out information about my BodyFit Athletic Club. If you need extra support and accountability, if you wanna get direct guidance and support from myself and from Vivian, our BodyFit dietitian, whoo, all right, let's dig it here. Um, plus a nutrition plan, plus weekly and monthly clickable workout calendars, including some exclusive workouts here. Make sure you join us there. We have a really good time. It's a really great group. And of course, click the link below that. Find out everything on my website, eBooks, nutrition guide, and body fit gear like this headband. Breathe, round it up one more time, flat and up big deep breath in thank you for joining me today Whew, that was your pilates pyramid workout great job everybody